what were the factors for you of wanting like, okay, I'm going to go to college or I'm not going to go to college. And then what was that like with your parents, your, you know, your siblings, friends, people within your inner circle, were they supportive of that decision? Did they, were they not supportive of that decision? I would love to love to dive into sure, that a little yeah. bit. Yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, I, I always love referencing things in the past that we for think we forget about frequently. Like that conversation is not in my mind until you bring it up there. And then it's kind of funny because I'm like, oh, yeah, I, I do remember that conversation. And so many of the things that were discussed within those conversations early on in our relationship for both you and I are very full circle as we speak here today. But uh, to answer your question, um, the reason for Notre Dame and Stanford were they were the two schools that I was confident would strengthen me in my areas of interest, were, which were communication, media, business, and also had a culture of success. And I knew that I would just be elevated by the people around me through going there, uh, specifically Stanford. That's why I really wanted to go there. I had so many of my mentors who went to Stanford. And so that was definitely, I, I joked in my applications, I didn't write this down, but I joked that I'm a byproduct of Stanford, whether, whether they'll accept me or not, just because like so many of my influences were Stanford grads. And so those were the only two schools that like really stood out to me. And then even from a financial perspective, with how much my parents make per year, Stanford, I would have gotten a full ride. Um, they've got unbelievable aid. And then Notre Dame, it would have been like close to a four just by getting in without any scholarships, which is like amazing. And so it kind of checked the boxes of it would strengthen me and the things I'm interested in really propel for the running effect, as well as I wouldn't really be in debt. And then like the environment and the people and the community would really elevate me. And then, yeah, there were I didn't get into either. And I, of course, applied to like a bunch of different universities specifically because generally you can apply to a lot for free and like another conversation for another time. So many of these colleges don't actually ask you thoughtful questions on the application. It's like checkbox, checkbox, checkbox. You know what I mean? And so it's like it takes literally five minutes to apply somewhere. And so I applied to a bunch of other places, got into some places and it was just like, I'm not really getting aid. Why would I? And here's what it boiled down to. Why would I go into debt to study things I get paid to do on a daily basis? And it really lined up with the running effect starting to take off. So for some context, last year, I made like $300 total. Um, and then January, I did like a $400 deal. And then I think February is when I locked into a $10,000 deal. And so that was when I was like, well, financially, I can probably take a gap year at this point. And that's when like thing after thing after thing lined into place. And uh, God was uh, moving in powerful ways at that point. So in terms of like how my parents responded and siblings responded, I think it's very easy to say those th th say those things in isolation of like, I didn't go to college, but there was like a very clear progression to get to that point. Um, sure, there were like conversations that took place, but Ultimately, um, I think I'm pretty independent in terms, of, even with my parents, I'll just say straight up, like, you know, you guys aren't paying for my college. Like I will go wherever I want. Um, and I will have good reason to go wherever I want. And I'm like open to hear your thought process and whatever insights you have. But also it's not like the standard. I hear this all the time where like parents pay for their kids college. And it's like, you are going here or here. Otherwise we aren't paying for it. But it, for me, it was like very independent. I'm going to do what I think is best for me. And so of course there was like respectful dialogue and whatnot, but Overall, I think they were very supportive. And again, when there was evidence of like, oh, you can take a gap year and be like financially okay, um, I think it made sense to them too. And then, yeah, like, I don't even know. I would be so curious to pick their brains honestly of like, how far did you actually think I could take this? Because, I, yeah, I mean, that question comes across my head, but um, I would be curious to like zoom out. I should call my mom after this and ask her that because I actually would be curious to know like what were your thoughts? Did you actually think I would make it? And no harm done if you think I couldn't. Like I'm just curious um, because it is crazy how fast things can shift. 